If you're getting ready for a trip and thinking about how to keep your insulin cold outside of the fridge on a hot day, I have a solution for you. In this video, I'm gonna review this multifunctional heavy duty insulin cooler that I used on my recent trip to Brazil. Let's go. Thanks a lot to For All Family for sponsoring this video and sending me this bad boy. Guys, we all know that insulin should be stored in a fridge, otherwise it will go bad. If you use insulin that stayed out of the fridge for too long, it will not be as effective as it should be. And you will see your blood sugar going up. It happened to me before and I don't want this to happen again. So for me, it's really important to keep my insulin cool when I travel. And there are many solutions out there, but in this video, I want to show you this cooler that I used my recent trip to Brazil. It's essentially a multifunctional stainless steel thermos bottle. And there are two ways how you can keep the content of this bottle cool. The first option is placing an ice pack inside the cooler along with your insulin vials, insulin pans, glucagon or what have you and using this blue insulating metal lid to cover the bottle. From my experience this will keep your insulin cool for at least 24 hours even on a hot day. Just don't put the cooler in direct sunlight. The second option is using this black lid that has a cooling function and you can connect it with a micro USB cable. Now for that you need a socket or at least a USB outlet but these are usually available in most cars, on boats and on airplanes. The USB solution cools the inside of the bottle by 25 degrees Fahrenheit. So if the temperature outside is 90, the temperature inside the cooler will be 65. And you can combine these two options to get the most out of the cooler. So you can put the ice pack in and power the cooler using the USB cable. Now when you combine these two, you get a really powerful and long lasting solution. And I would not hesitate to rely on it for up to 48 hours. I tested this in Brazil where the average temperature was between 80 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit all the time. And even after 48 hours, the insulin inside was still cold. So how much supplies can you squeeze in? Well the ice pack takes up about the half of the space in the cooler but the whole cooler is quite big. I have an insulin pump so I only carry a few insulin vials when I travel and there is more than enough space for at least eight of them. So more space than I really need. And if you are using insulin pens then you can comfortably put in two of them along with a few insulin vials. If you want to put in even more medical supplies then you might consider taking out the ice pack and putting in more of the supplies but you will lose a little bit of the cooling function. The manufacturer says that the cooler is TSA approved which means you can take it on board of a plane in the US. Well I'm not in the US but I tried to take this bad boy on board and I was a little bit worried to be honest. I traveled from Switzerland to Brazil and back and in both locations I was able to successfully get through the security check. I have to say that this ice pack got quite a lot of attention from security officers at the airport. But when I told them that I'm a diabetic, that I'm using this for medical purposes, then they were fine and they let me go. The main advantage of this cooler is that it's really a heavy duty solution that will protect your insulin for much longer compared to some other solutions that are available on the market. This is definitely the kind of cooler that I would take into really extreme conditions. So really hot temperature, no fridge for a few days, this kind of thing. It only comes in this blue color, but I think it's really nice color. And overall, I really like the design of this cooler. Now my pro tip is before you head for a trip, put the entire thermos bottle along with the ice pack in a freezer without the lid and let it sit there for 6, 8, 10 hours. And when the ice pack is frozen solid and the bottle is really cold, then you can take it out, put your medication inside and put the lid on it. Now let me talk about a couple of things that might be potential disadvantages of this cooler. The cooler is quite big and takes up a lot of space in your bag. So for me, it is a bit of a balancing act deciding, do I need a really reliable heavy duty solution or do I want to travel light and want to save space in my bag. When you are on a pump like me and you only need to place a couple of insulin vials in the big cooler and nothing else, I get the impression that they are not secured and they could move around and they could break. So it is definitely something to consider. But one thing you can use to protect your vials when they are in the cooler are these uh, foam pads that are included in the package. I figured they really help protect the vials from vibrations during your travel and add some additional insulation as well. Another great solution how to protect your insulin vials are these rubber protectors. 
and by the way these are made by the same company that makes the cooler and I think these are a really smart solution to keep your insulin vials safe not only when traveling because insulin can be quite expensive if you don't get a full insurance coverage question of the day how do you keep your insulin cold while traveling let us know in the comments if you want more diabetes tips then click on one of the videos on the screen right now and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next type 1 talks video ciao